just be out, out with, with us, us to Victoria House Resort and Spa located in San Pedro, Belize. If this is your first time to our channel, I'm Irina. And I'm Devon. And we create informative travel videos to help you get the most out of your vacation. In this video, we are taking you on a complete walking tour of Victoria House Resort and Spa to help you decide if this resort is right for you. Just, Just be, be out, out with, with us. us. We are now at the main entrance of Victoria House Resort and Spa. It is located, as I mentioned before, in San Pedro on Ambergis Keys. And it is, Ambergis Keys is a really large island and San Pedro is the main town on the island. So Victoria House is located actually on the south side of the island. And by golf car, it is about 10 minute ride from the airport and about 20 minute ride from the ferry. There are two ways to get to Ambergis Keys from the mainland of Belize. If you're flying internationally, you will be flying in the Belize city airport and you can take a short, just 15 minute local uh, plane ride to Ambergis Keys. Uh, there are uh, actually two local airlines, Mayan Air and Tropic Air, and they fly from uh, the international airport and there is also a municipal airport in Belize city. So you can take a short 15 minute flight or you can take a ferry. We actually took a ferry from Belize city. It is only a 90 minute ferry and the round trip ticket costs us $30 per person US dollars. So here it is the main arrival area. This is where you would park the golf cart. Yes, here uh, in Ambergis Keys, you will be riding golf carts. You can rent a golf cart here at Victoria House. It is 75 USD per day or $17 per hour and the parking is free if you uh, rent a golf cart anywhere else. So right here at the arrival, uh, we have their spa. It is a 3,500 square foot spa and gym. So let's go take a look inside. Wow, as soon as you walk in, you feel the relaxation. You can smell it. The aromatherapy here is insane. Just here at the registration area. Hi ladies. Hi. We're just gonna take a look around. Sure, go right ahead. Thank you. So this is the gym and it has a wide variety of exercise machines and equipment. So the spa here at Victoria House is actually really unique because of the types of treatments that they offer. So they have cranial sacrum treatment. Uh, there are bathrooms here. They have Mayan abdominal massage. They have Indian head massage where they blend uh, they ask you first if uh, you have any specific needs, if you have tension or what you're struggling with. And based on that, they will create an oil blend for you. This is um, a relaxation area before your massage. They have water here, set of teas in the corner. And then with this type of oil blend, they will massage your head only for either an hour or 90 minutes. This is insane. They also have Reiki massage and it's more like spiritual based and kind of like fixing your aura. So in this corner, they are doing manicures and pedicures and right now they're doing a treatment. So we're not gonna go there. So this is one of their rooms for massage. And what's also unique about their massage is they use this brand and this is all natural, organic, made out of fruits and vegetables. And there is no GMO, no um, harsh chemicals. 
and it's all natural. So now I'm gonna take you outside. They also do facials, by the way. And here is the also another relaxation area, but with outdoor showers and they have curtains for you. So either before or after your treatment, you, you can um, shower here and relax. They have some soothing music playing. I cannot wait to get a massage here. And if you're coming here as a couple, you can get doubles massage. So this is their room for their doubles massage, couples massage. Their massages range starting from 110 US and depending on the treatment and how many hours, if you want one hour, 90 minutes or two hours, uh, the price goes up. So now let's move on with the tour of Victoria House Resort and Spa. Let us know in the comments, do you like getting massages or what kind of spa treatments do you prefer? Now we're coming out of the rainy season and it's drizzling on and off. So it goes from super sunny to cloudy and drizzly and pouring down rain. So this is the arrival area and here is the registration area. As we arrived, they welcomed us with complimentary drinks. Here we filled out a quick form to register. And of course, you're required to give you a card um, for incidentals. And if you like to purchase anything on the card. Here is their uh, gift shop where you can purchase a Victoria House merchandise and some other things you might need during your stay. Bug repellent, sunscreen, or any souvenirs that you would like to take home. Victoria House was established over 40 years ago by a group of American friends. It is a luxury resort and as I mentioned before they're situated a little bit um, more south of the main um, party area so it's very quiet and really relaxing here so here is their main restaurant this is La Palmilla restaurant and the menu was created curated by a culinary consultant from Houston. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. And the food is just mind-blowing. We already tried a lot of the dishes here. And let me tell you, if you're not even planning to stay in San Pedro, you should come here for just one day and try the food here at Victoria House. It is so delicious. So here is an um, outside deck. They also serve um, breakfast, the lunch or dinner here from the same restaurant. And what's funny about this is that right under this deck, there are so many iguanas, resident iguanas. And for breakfast or lunch, they actually come out and they try to beg for food and it's funny because they come really close to you because they are so used to guests throwing them some fruits and vegetables here is their poolside restaurant and as you can see victoria house is a beachfront resort and spa right next to the beach house there is nelson's bar and if you like uh, you can also order food from the main restaurant and they will serve it to you right here 
The rooms that you see right now are called palmetto rooms and they start from 355 US dollars per night. So let's take a quick look at um, Admiral Nelson's bar. This is a cute area. They have a screen so it's wide open. You can feel the Caribbean breeze and there are fans and the bar creates any type of drinks you would like. So over here they have a patio where you can have your oceanfront ocean view dining. All right now again it's blocked because of the rain and you can feel a lot of nice breeze in here. Victoria House has free kayaks for you to use and also free bicycles and normally they have um, chairs more chairs on the beach right now they put some away because it's raining uh, they have a cornhole game here and more games down there on the beach what's interesting about victoria house beachfront property it doesn't have the actual beach that goes into the water it has a sea wall so this is uh, their own pier. They do a dive um, trips and um, snorkeling excursions right from here. Here you can find the kayaks that are free for use. And I know right now the water looks really murky because again, the color of the water really depends on the sunlight. And right now the sun just went in. At the end of the pier, more cheese for you. Oh, look at that pelican. Oh, the lover. Look how huge. They just perched in here and they do not move. So if you like to go swimming here, there is actually a place for you to get in the water comfortably by the stairs. The water right now looks a little choppy. What's good about having wind is that there are going to be no mosquitoes. And so far it's been pretty breezy since we came here and I have not gotten bitten even once. So it's really nice. So the entrance into the water is pretty comfortable and they have buoys set up. There is no lifeguard on duty though. If you enjoyed this walkthrough don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Belize videos we are creating a complete Belize travel guide and we will be putting out more videos about San Pedro Wow, look at the wind span. So this is their adventure center and the dive shop. And the snorkel masks included for free? Well, for the yeah, guests. if you want to use it at the end of the dock or uh, basically, yeah, just, just to practice, of course. Of course oh, nice. Yeah. Thank you. Have some wetsuits, paddles, sunscreen, and anything you need for your perfect Caribbean vacation. So let's walk a little bit along the beach side and 
what's interesting about this be this beach actually the sand the sand is pretty compact but it is so powdery and soft right now you can't really see because it just rained so it looks super compact but when you walk without sandals it feels like very fine powder there are a little bit of uh, broken corals inside but mostly you just feel the powder and the palm trees are here planted throughout the beach and a lot of them i actually have coconuts so here is a beautiful gazebo that you have to walk all the way into the ocean and here is where they do private dinners candlelight romantic dinners and massages so here again you can see some loungers there is giant jenga more games and the sun is coming out finally so you can see a little bit of the watercolor changing from mud gray to green uh, victoria house offers different types of accommodations from regular state rooms which we will show you in just shortly to five bedroom villas so they have regular state rooms they have casitas they have one bedroom two bedroom three bedroom and five bedroom And this is the end of the beachfront and we will now show you their biggest villa that they have. This beachfront villa is called Casa Azul. It is a magnificent five-bedroom beachfront villa with a living area over 3,500 square feet. Uh, this house offers a private pool and uh, lush landscaping overlooking the barrier reef. It sleeps up to 10 guests, so your entire family can stay here. And it starts from 2,125 US dollars per night. And what I also like about this um, setting of Victoria House is right now we're on the beach and we're walking on sand but the landscaping is really cool because just this grassy area like looking like grass bush and it goes into really nice plush green landscape it is really pretty right next to it it is casa del sol it is a spacious three bedroom house with a custom-made king bed and it sleeps up to six people uh, it, the rates starts from 1450 us dollars right next to it is a casa playa blanca it is a lovely two-bedroom villa, beachfront as well. It sleeps up to four guests. It has a private infinity pool and it starts from 1295 US per night. And the last house here is a rainforest suite. It's a beachfront villa and it is their honeymoon suite. It has a king size bed and their veranda wraps around with a private hammock. It sleeps up to two people and it starts from 610 US dollars per night. Prices depending on the season, if you come in in high season, low season. So this is just their base, pri base price. So here we have a series of little casitas 
houses and they're actually really cute uh, we just had a peak when the lights was uh, it, when it was dark here but the inside was light and it looks really cozy it's a tropical casita it has a, a touched roof and it has a queen size bed and a little private veranda with a hammock it starts from 355 US per night here is a really nice and plush grassy area and you can see their second pool this is the infinity pool right next to the infinity pool you will find luxury two bedroom villas It is 1500 square foot uh, luxury villa. And again, it has a touched roof, spacious living room, dining area, full kitchen, and two master bedrooms. And uh, the prices for this villa start in the low season at 950 US. Here again by the pool side, you have a lot of lounging area. You have a table here that, where you can order your private dinners. And this is actually the one bedroom luxury villa. This is infinity one bedroom villa where we are staying at. So let's go take a look inside. Welcome to our one bedroom infinity suite and the reason why it's called infinity suite is because it is right next to the infinity pool. Our suite is actually unique because it's a duplex so before you walk in you can wash your feet right here and the main entrance entrance is actually over here but I want to take you through our patio entrance so here is the patio with the infinity pool view it has uh, some chairs to lounge and here is the living room area with uh, an ac two ceiling fans couch chair our favorite part is of course a large dining table because we will use it for our editing station and charging station and all the equipment to charge so here it comes with a fully equipped kitchen with the stove and uh, the oven as well dishwasher this is a full-size fridge look this fridge is taller than me here also there is um one bathroom so just half bathroom with just the toilet and the sink and here we have another patio this is a private patio with a little garden in front of it it's perfectly secluded so quiet you see coconuts here mango tree hibiscus flowers and as I mentioned before, this is a duplex. So our bedroom is on the second floor. All wood that you see here in the room is made locally here on the island. Look at this beautiful wood carving. On the second floor, there is another balcony. It is located right over our patio. And from here, you can see also palm trees, the mango trees. There is a little lounging uh, chair, love seat. And from here, you can see our little garden with geckos running all over it. Victoria House thought of everything and I really appreciate how they put pool towels in 
a bag already so you don't have to use your own bag you don't have to carry it in hand so you can just use this bag and go to the pool or the beach here is a large bathroom with two uh, sinks I have to tell you something about this toiletries so they have this uh, line of toiletries specially made for Victoria house and it is bee honey and the way it smells Oh my God, it smells literally like honey. I can just pour it on my pancakes. It smells so good. Here we have a stand-up shower. And the toilet is right behind the door. So let's continue to the bathroom. Here is our cozy bed. And there is another AC here and this ac is no joke you can feel the temperature change and it also has a ceiling fan on top of it and over here there is also um, a small lounge in the area with a chair a love seat a coffee table there is a tv and there is a super large closet it's a, actually a walk-in closet and i think to turn it on you need to pull the string but they can reach it so it has the safe box ironing board iron two robes and here is another balcony so it has two patios and two balconies here in this one bedroom suite and what's cool about uh, all the windows here is that you can open the window but it also has an extra protective screen if you've seen our other Belize vlogs you know that in Belize anywhere you go there are mosquitoes and bugs so here you can enjoy the Caribbean breeze without the bugs and here is the view from our second floor balcony you can see the infinity pool you can see the you can see the seaside pool you can see the caribbean sea the palm trees it is just perfect what do you think of this suite guys let us know in the comments would you stay here so now let's continue with our tour now this luxury one bedroom suite is only for two people so here at victoria house you have an, an option to book just accommodations or you can actually book a meal plan and the meals are really phenomenal if you just want to um, there are several meal plans that are available if you just want to do breakfast only it is 20 us per person and it just includes one plate so if you just want to order either eggs or pancakes another option is breakfast and dinner and it is 75 per person and trust me you will save this way and dinner includes a three course meal so over here there are more casitas and they are very popular actually they get booked really fast and the last meal plan is breakfast lunch and dinner option and it is 95 us per person and for children, of course, it's cheaper. It's only 39 per day. So if you, we are back to the seaside pool area and to La Palmia restaurant here. So right above the restaurant, you will see also some rooms. And those rooms are actually their state rooms. Their state rooms are only for two guests. It features one queen bed. Uh, it is 300 square foot and it has a garden view. And it starts from 210 US dollars. So what do you think of the Victoria house? We actually love staying here. Number one, it is super breezy no mosquitoes. Well, it may vary, but so far no it's been excellent. We love their pool. It is beautiful setting. So right at the pool, you can see the ocean and it is really peaceful. It is super quiet here. It is definitely JBO approved. Facts. Let us know in the comments, would you stay here at Victoria House? 
we thank Victoria House for hosting us and we thank you for watching. So as usual, just, just be, be out, out with, with us. us.